what's up guys? If you're coming from the battery removal video, thank you for watching another one. If not, welcome to the channel guys. I'm Grizz and you're watching Grizzly TV. Today, we are gonna be removing the diverter valve from your Mark 7. Let's go ahead and dive in, check that out. All right, so if you look right here, that's your diverter valve. Now, I've already taken off the uh, turbo inlet so you can kind of get a good look at it. This is a little plug that comes right on top right here on your diverter valve. To remove that, all you gotta do is really pull up on this tab, right up here, I don't think you can see that. Pull up on that, and it pops right off. Just tuck that behind so it doesn't get in your way. And there's gonna be three bolts, one here, one uh, down there, and then one on top right here. So those three bolts are T30s. So for that, you're just gonna need either our screwdriver with an extension with a T30 head or a ratchet with a T30 head. And you'll be able to get in there, loosen it up, pop it off. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So what I found helpful while removing the diverter valve was to actually go back and forth between the bolts, loosening them so I could take it off all in one piece instead of having to fish out individual bolts from the diverter valve. All right, so as you've seen guys, it's actually a pretty easy thing to do. Anybody can do it. All you need is some basic tools and a little bit of time. It took me about five minutes. I mean, I've done it about three or four times already now, but all you have to do is just be very careful. Make sure you have a magnetic tool in case you drop anything. In my personal opinion, I like to remove the belly pan before working on the engine bay. That way if anything does fall, it just comes right on out. And if it doesn't, then you know it's somewhere that you might have an issue. But that's pretty much it for that video, guys. That's part two. If you guys wanna watch the next part, go ahead and click right on up there. That is gonna be the Spulen Turbo Inlet Pipe from USP Motorsports, so check it out. Stay boosted, bros.